All right, this is for Wesley Fierre. Fierre? Sorry, I murdered that. But um, So the big thing that ultimately you've got going on is that you're really not understanding the form of the eye. And so I'm going to just kind of start off with a base drawing. And it looks like the drawing itself uh, that you've got going on looks relatively uh, clean and easy. But, so one of the things that we want to do is we want to start off with uh, kind of the overall kind of premise of the eye here. And I'm just going to kind of bring this down like so and bring the curve and you've got the curve like so and you're, you want to get that, that uh, tear duct in there and that's good um, and so you basically are going to kind of go from here. Now once you've got the base eye you have to realize that the eye doesn't fit smack dab in the center but instead the eye kind of <clears throat> is, is slightly covered up okay and so the iris here is usually kind of something like that and so that's the first kind of base form of the eye um, and I'm just gonna kind of bring up the eyelid here like so and with that you're gonna have the the eyelid ledge which you you worked on okay so we're gonna draw in the eyelid ledge like so and so that's gonna kind of meet the uh, the underside of the eye like that <clears throat> excuse me and then um, it, it actually kind of cleans up into there so once you've got that drawn once you've got that base idea in there then what you're gonna do is you're going to start with your your color picking okay and you've got a decent variety of colors I don't I think the ultimate thing is that you're just kind of not really using some of them properly and so what I would do is I would start off with a little bit of a soft edge and I'm just going to kind of lay in the rough uh, colors here. So I'm going to just do what you did and I'm going to get kind of the base idea here like so. And <clears throat> excuse me. So with that in mind, I'm get my my kind of rough ideas here like so. And I'm using a gray background instead of a white. I always feel the gray reflects better on the colors. And then as you've got your base color in there, then that's when you want to start building up your other other kind of tonal values. And I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to change it to like 50-50 here just to, to start building up. And so, you know, you want to start building up overall shape. Okay, and so here you've got, you know, you've got the dark shadow from the eyelid coming in here. Um, you're probably going to have a little bit under here as well. Um, you probably want to add in a little bit more of the rough value here. So you're probably going to have a little bit of that, that shadow in here, something like that. Um, and you're probably going to have this flip up like so because this is more skin over here. And we're just kind of grabbing kind of that mid-tone color here and kind of building up like so. And so that's all I'm ultimately doing is building up that color. Now, when it comes to the eye itself, you know, this is probably going to be a darker range. So I'm going to go harder here. And I'm probably going to see a little bit of, you know, a little bit darker shadows under here. I'm going to get some red tones here. So I'm going to probably grab this color and get some of that red in there as well um, and go back to kind of the, your, your light pink and start kind of building up and you see I'm not worrying too much about the eye itself because the eye itself is not really that white like you've got uh, nearly white here and then you've got like this blue gray and that's what I'm going to be focusing on is that blue gray and so I'm just going to kind of build out and this is my highlight here and then I'm just going to add a little bit there and so we want to get the form of that eye down first and the form of this eye is nearly uh, a little bit of blue a little bit of this and I'm going <clears> to <throat> just work underneath it so I don't have to worry about that and so you, you've got a little bit of a, a light corner here you can see here that it's, it's building up that light and then I'm going to build up the light underneath this as well. So we're going to go back up here, kind of build up that light like that, probably build something like that. And so I'm trying to get the form of the eye without even worrying about the rest of the stuff. 
and again we're going to go back and start building in build in the eye here like so and you can see here as I build up that eye and that darkness there I'm going to create a little bit of a fold and we can go almost darker so I'm going to just add a little bit of black in there um, something like that and so you can see how dark that's going to get like this and this is probably tanning out a little bit so it's going to have a little bit less of that that bright pink in there and so I'm just ultimately going through and just kind of building up that shape and form and so here's a little bit of this you can see the, the dark side over there and then I'm gonna have <clears throat> over here it's not gonna be as saturated so I'm gonna just add a little bit of blue in here and that's ultimately where you want to kind of build up your colors you want to build your colors with the highlights and the shadows and things like that um, and so you can see adding a little bit of blue kind of gives it a little bit more shadow I can I can add in a little bit more kind of this orange uh, red there to kind of build up that light and so ultimately what we're doing is we're just using the colors that we have to kind of ultimately kind of build up and kind of create what we want and so you can see here like so, just kind of darkening the shade up here, like so. And then up here, it's it's actually a little bit more gray. So we're just going to, again, kind of build up that grays in there. And then as you get over here, that's when you're going to get a little bit of highlight going on here and there. And so ultimately, you just want to, you know, kind of build in the highlight. You might want to build an edge highlight here. Um, you know maybe you've got a little bit of a, a highlight over here from lights coming over here and so ultimately what we're doing is we're building up layers upon layers of that color and then when it comes to the, the color of the eye here that's when we're gonna you know go strictly dark and we're gonna add in the dark blues you know for the rings and I'm gonna kind of darken this and you can see as I build up um, my process. I'm not using any texture brushes. I don't need to worry about texture brushes at this point in time. I'm worrying about form and value. And so ultimately that is what we want to really kind of work with and kind of achieve. And then I'm going to add in some kind of blue grays and let's go a little bit smaller. So we add in the blue grays here like so. And that's building the colors of the eyes up like that and so ultimately you see I'm just doing it a little bit at a time instead of like trying to force the drawing in there and at this point I can remove the drawing and you can see the the painting itself stands by itself um, and so by adding those colors in there by adding this kind of emphasis of blue uh, you know kind of working with these colors. I'm going to darken this blue a little bit more here, like so. And then most eyes are multicolored, so you probably have a little bit of like, maybe we'll add in a little bit of gold fleck in there to kind of change, change the eye here. And let's add in a little bit of your <coughs> blue here. And we can kind of just kind of vary that around. And basically we're just kind of going back and forth and just then we start building up the darker colors. Like so. And then if she does have uh, like the eyelashes, the eyelashes don't go all the way to the edge here. You know, they start off and they, they kind of flail out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into my brush settings here. And I'm going to go into Shape Dynamics. And I'm going to go to Count. And I'm going to go to uh, Fade. And I'm just going to see what one looks like now. So let's go a little bit bigger here. Nope, not that big. So that's a little bit more. So let's uh, do this as 100. 
And so you can see, let's go start straight dark here. And so you can see I'm just building out the eyes and they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be even. Some of them are clumped together. And over here it gets a little bit thicker, so we're going to just darken that up. And there's, you know, something like that. And then we're just going to do smaller ones here. And so then over here, the edges of the eye, again, keeping things kind of clumped together. And then it's just a matter of going through and kind of refining some of this edge. So I'm going to turn off my shape dynamics here and I'm going to go through and start cleaning up some of this edge here and start cleaning up some of this edge here merge these two and then this I think needs to be a little bit lighter so we're just going to kind of force a little bit more color in there and I think this needs to be darker so we're just going to add a little bit of black in there kind of go through and kind of build up and sharpen and refine. And that's ultimately what you kind of need to do is you need to build up that that form and the, the value of your eye. Don't try and overthink it. Don't try and build up more than that than you need because ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the the value and, and that kind of information here and then if you want you know you can if you want a little bit of a, a highlight I'm just going to kind of build up some of this eye over here and it's going to kind of clean up the edge something like this and then from there you can go with a little bit of darker color and start adding in your texture and your texture is ultimately um, you know, wrinkles and things like that. And so, you know, you, you can spend a ton of time on this just, just by doing this yourself. Um, but you can see here that um, you want to spend uh, a much more variable amount of time. And then this is, we're just going to make this a little bit bigger here um, and then add in kind of a, like so. And then when you look at it from far away, um, you know the the detail that you you've put in there that's the detail that you need to kind of portray now there's a lot of issues that that are in there that I, I should clean up but ultimately you see kind of how you want to get that that ultimate uh, value and form in there okay